it's like walking the dog. <laughs> I always think that. I always think it feels a bit wrong. <laughs> like a dog. No, but it, it, it keeps us safe, doesn't well, no, it? No, doggy's staying here. Oh no, with your words on repeat, I will break like a twig right under your feet. Don't you say that you didn't want me, you turned me upside down and then you're in my bed and under my skin. Oh, where will it end if I let it begin? So bittersweet, you know life's too short, so let's not waste another minute. Probably two days late. Two days late? Why do you think that? I don't know, I like to think that because me and Daisy were. And, and you, were two, you were 10 days late, weren't you? 13. 13 days late. And Daisy was? Two. two. Uh, you just didn't want to come out. I think, I, I think they, um, I'm 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 Five. When do you think you'll come? Today. Today? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Daisy, when do you think you'll come? I don't know. Today? Today. <laughs> I had like a last piece of paid work to do before having this baby and I thought I finished it yesterday and I actually realised when I was just double checking stuff before that I missed part of it so I have had to and thank god I did my makeup like the same as yesterday but I've had to make myself look like I did yesterday and film this extra bit in hope that it will work so yeah that was fun because i just wanted to try and relax but i've done it now <laughs> just one of those things i mean like for the most part this job that i have is, is so flexible being able to do youtube around the kids and stuff but then there are times where it's really really intense and stuff like this happens or you get trolled and stuff and you really do have to have a thick skin and a lot of get up and go let's just say that but it's done now and at least I can you know relax a bit but Daisy's gonna wake up soon I really should have just had a nap I'm an idiot very nearly didn't film today because I don't know I kind of I'm torn at the moment between savoring this time for myself and then like filming it because it's nice to look back on and obviously when you are in the run-up to being like you know in labor I guess <laughs> not that I'm in labor yet you, you kind of like feel like oh any day could be it and wouldn't it be amazing if, if like I captured the full day from start to finish but um I don't know, today I've not been feeling very well at all. I woke up with sciatica on my left hand side. I say woke up with actually. I basically spent the whole night in pain. I did sleep on and off but it was just so, so uncomfortable and I couldn't get comfortable in any position and I even had a walk around the house and stuff to try and ease it and it just wasn't helping so my lying went out the window because I couldn't get back to sleep this morning and to go with that as well I've been feeling really bunged up which I know is really TMI for a vlog but it's so it's so normal at this stage in your pregnancy and stuff isn't it but I just feel like everything is just too much for my body now to be honest and I don't want to moan because these are the last few days like it's 10 days until I'm due which isn't long at all um and I just feel like I should be really savoring it but it is hard because I'm just exhausted <laughs> and um I'm not really 
slowing down like I did in my past two pregnancies just because of the way the situation is and I was like working for myself and working from home and you know I've got two children and there's school runs to do and all of that sort of stuff so it's like it's just having more children isn't it um but we went for lunch as you will have seen Daisy was a tow rag we're at that stage now where you know when you go out for lunch with two year olds and you might as well just accept that it's not going to be relaxing <laughs> um, but Bill was great and she's having a nap now and I've just been pattering around like you know like folding washing I'm obsessed at the moment with keeping on top of my washing pile um, because I keep thinking oh I'd hate to go into labour with all of that left to wash and put away so I'm really really like obsessed it's quite it's quite funny actually and um I like sorted out a pile of stuff that was on my desk and I'm sorting out like tidying around the house and I've packed Daisy's like nursery bag for Monday just so it's ready I've got Bill's school stuff ready for Monday as well because he's actually going to see his dad tomorrow so that uh, is another thing that I'm just trying to prepare for and get sorted but it's just I don't know <laughs> I just feel really weird I feel like it is close I don't know if like mother's intuition counts or anything but everything just feels like it could happen at any time now and obviously the beast from the east has been here in the UK and the snow has been horrendous but it has cleared up for the most part at least where I live um, but it's still really really cold but at least now like if we had to drive to the hospital it would be doable um, but yes I'm just lying here on my bed trying to relax the boys are downstairs Dave's is asleep and I'm just going to try and take it easy, I think. It's just the unknown. And I thought I would, like, share this in a way because, like, this is really what it's like when you're expecting a baby. I don't know if anybody else gets like this, but I do get nervous and anxious and a bit like, oh, my gosh, when's it going to be? Um, and it's just on my mind a lot at the moment because I don't fully feel like I can relax because I'm like... <gasps> Is that a twinge? Is this a twinge? But we we will see. We will see. But I'll try and vlog a bit more like I usually do for the rest of the weekend. I'm just sorry today's been so up and down because I've just not not had the energy. <laughs> Kiss my head. Are you ready for beddy? Yeah. You're all tucked up tight? Yeah. Yeah? I love you. Don't let the bedbugs bite. <laughs> Don't let the bedbugs bite. Oh, here's one. <laughs> oh, I love you, Weasel. Love you too. Good night. Left untried Will 
you come with me, Mom? Wow. Keep shaking. Hard as you can. Ooh. What do you think, assistant? Yeah. Yeah. Can you say good slide? Ew. Look at it. Ah. Is this slime? Yeah. That silly slime. Can you feel it go all hard when you move it's it? Wow. You got another bit of slime. Cool. What shall we call us? Hobos per se. We'll find that out on the way. So let us just do my love. And I'd stop thinking the of this over. morning and this feels like the weirdest <laughs> weekend vlog I've done I'll be honest with you yesterday I felt like labor might be close I just uh, I felt so rough um just like stomach cramps like urges to go to the toilet and like struggling with constipation feeling sick and queasy I had a really bad night's sleep the night before whereas like last night like I didn't, I didn't really get hungry at all in the evening. Um, we had, we went out for lunch, obviously, and I had my breakfast. But I just couldn't stomach eating at a normal time with the kids, so I made the kids food. And Mark was like, "Should we just get takeaways here? And we don't need to worry about it, and just you know, relax." And I was like, "Yeah, you pick what you want. I'm not really sure what I fancy." And I ate. And we didn't eat until like on eight o'clock, so there was a big gap between me eating, and I just didn't enjoy my food I just didn't feel like eating and then this morning after a relatively good night's sleep for me I am um, I felt like fine when I got up I had a big burst of energy and I did like the dishwasher emptied all of that I got the kids breakfast done we did like slime and played together and like cuddled and stuff and I sent my final piece of work off because um, I had to get some last little clips this morning and I've done that and it's gone it's like out of my hands now but then like in the last like I would say hour again I'm starting to get like cramps and I don't think the uterine cramps I think it's like my digestive system it's nothing that I've eaten because Mark would have it as well and the kids it just feels like I don't know, I'm either having a clear out or I just don't feel very well or the pressure of him is getting to me a little bit but I just feel so, so weird and I'm 38 plus 5 today but I've had a shower, I've got like comfy clothes on and like just pyjama bottoms and a hoodie and stuff and I'm going to make a shepherd's pie and relax and just really try and, try and take it slow today because tomorrow is my normal work day daisy will be at nursery and bill's obviously at school he's gone with his dad now actually um which made me feel weird because i just didn't want him to go and um i think what i'm going to try and do is like get like videos uploaded and edit this and stuff but then hopefully by the afternoon just take a nap or something because i'm just I really don't feel very well and it's like that point now where I'm like right you're nearly 39 weeks pregnant you need to cut yourself some slack so yeah we're just going to see how it goes but Mark is just sorting out our conservatory it was full again 
of boxes and stuff to take to the tip because we've been doing so much work on the house and like rooms and stuff um but i'll show you what it looks like and he's already started filling the car then the hallway is full of car seats and car seat bases <laughs> ice fit spaces because he's had to like pull the seats down but hopefully once that's done and like he's made the shelves for his side of the bed because we've got like drawers shelves drawers underneath the bed for storage he needs to make his side then that's kind of everything done i'm just washing our um nuna leaf um rocker cover now in a quick wash in the washing machine and then um, i'm gonna make a shepherd's pie like i said and then it's just gonna be chill time but i do i feel really different but i don't want to be like oh this is a labor blog vlog because i don't think it is um i just maybe it's imminent maybe it's like in the next week or so which would make sense because that's what my tea date will be in nine days so i just have to see but i've got a feeling like this one is going to make me wait and drag it out for a long time and um, with two fast previous births I hope that it isn't too difficult for me because with all of the anxiety about his health and stuff as well, like I just I just want him out now. But yes, I need to crack on. I need to crack on and stop talking to you. <laughs> you are such a clever girl. Are you doing a puzzle? You're so clever. Well done. Life was always good to you, or did you struggle like so many? So I'm just nipping out to the shots because stupid me forgot to add butter to the Tesco delivery. Oh, you can hear happy birds. It actually feels a bit spring-like now. Considering how cold it was this past week, it's actually quite mild today. I've got stuff on the line as. I'm sure I've already shown you and we are just chilling today Daisy's having a nap Mark's playing FIFA because he's 12 and um, yeah I'm just gonna nip tea get some butter and some other little bits I noticed the kids needed some new toothbrushes which is very domesticated of me and then I am going to get myself a nice coffee I think because why the heck not it's Sunday but yeah I'm feeling okay I'm just trying to take it easy because I'm just so wary that it's like really close to me giving birth now. Mark is building the rest of the storage drawers from under our bed at the moment and um, so it's just the ones on his side and then when that's done our bed is finished which is really exciting and I have sorted out in the conservatory since he cleared it all. While I was talking I thought I would come in the conservatory and show you what it looks like because we cleared it all let's say we mark got rid of all of the stuff that was in here honestly you couldn't even like get from one side to the other unless you were a cat um and he went to the tip and i have mopped and i've hoovered and i've cleaned and wiped all the surfaces and it's not like the nicest room in the house because we don't really use it unless it's like summertime and the cats kind of reside in here for most of the time um but it looks like clean and tidy and nice now which is the main thing but i will show you we'll start here with a sleepy elsa who is having a nap and then yeah this is just the rest of it really we when we get an extension in time i want to knock this down and make it like a proper room rather than a conservatory because it is really really old and it was here when we bought the house and not in great condition either but yeah mark normally works out in here so that's why we've got those there and like his bench press and whatever but and that freezer was actually our old freezer and i stored all of my express milk in there when daisy was in nicu and we kept it since then just in case we ever had another baby and obviously i'm going to soon so if he is in nicu then we can store all the milk in there again and it's like a milk fridge but if he's not then we probably will get rid of that eventually and yeah that is the state of in here then back in the kitchen i've had this jug on here all day for water to go and water some plants and i've still not done it um but i have 
a family shepherd's pie to go in the freezer and then two little ones this will be like two portions for the kids and i'll do some veggies at the time but it just means that when this baby boy is born i can just grab this and stick it in the oven which will be so handy so i need to go and put those in the freezer in a minute and then i've got a shepherd's pie here that is cooked i'm just letting it cool slightly because i find it easier to get out once it's cooled and then i have cauliflower cheese in here and we are having mary berry bread and butter pudding and some custard afterwards as well which will be nice never thought it would be so hard I grew up without a scar Just living my life with no big worries You built a new doggy this time? Yes, yes. Nearly, you've got one piece left yes. Can you find it here? <gasps> Yay! Did it? That's a bit weird Clever girl. Hot on day. <gasps> Yay! Bird, yeah. Oh, good jumping. Wow. Good girl. Now push, push, push. I love my daddy. Rabbit. <laughs> 